Hi, welcome to this quick tutorial. We are going to see how we prepare a file or an object to work with displacement materials. Okay, the first thing we have to understand is that displacement works by displacing vertices. So if you don't have vertices, nothing will happen. I will uh, remove the subdivision here. And we will see this is flat because there are no vertices to, to displace. But when we have the, the vertices there, the displacement takes effect. As you can see, this is real displacement. It's not faked or like bump. It's the vertices are really moved. We are going to see how to prepare a new file to work uh, with a displacement material. Okay, so when we create a new file, I will add a plane here. Displacement materials only work with cycles. We will use experimental and GPU. When we change this to experimental uh, subdivision surface, we will have the, a new option here, adaptive subdivision. We will, we will change this to simple and we will choose adaptive subdivision. As we can see here, the final render uh, scale is one pixel and in the viewport is eight. That means that the quality will be uh, not that good in the viewport. We, we will see how we can change that if we Take a new material with displacement. Let's try this one again. Apply material. And we can see we have displacement, but the quality is not that good. You can keep it like this to have a faster viewport and you will know that the render will be uh, better later. You can also change this option. You can go here. You will have this new option here, subdivisions. As you can see here, the dicing is one for the render and eight for the viewport. If we change this to one, now we can see the quality is, is uh, better. And you have to understand this is based on the distance from the camera to the object. So that's why it's adaptive. And it is calculated the moment you press here the render view. So if we, for example, are this far away and I go to render mode and then I zoom in, the quality is low. But if we do it when we are at this distance, the quality will be higher. It doesn't mean that you cannot uh, use this with the regular subdivision. For example, if you want to go to edit mode and subdivide this a few times, Then use a regular subdivision. You will have this, but you will always be limited by the amount of subdivisions. And sometimes you don't need that many subdivisions on the back, for example. So the adaptive version is uh, better in my opinion. Okay, and this is how you prepare a file to work with displacement materials in Blender.